Oh, body shaming, it's everywhere on social media and conversations, even with loved ones at times. Now, pretty much everywhere you look, and none of us are immune to the criticism. This month, WLOX News Now is taking an eye-opening look at body shaming through a series of special reports from defining the huge scope of body shaming to the lengths people go to in order to change their appearance. Carrie Grace met with people across South Mississippi to talk about body shaming and also about learning to love yourself. And she joins us now to talk about what she has learned during this process. Thanks, Carrie, for joining us. No, thank you. Uh, first of all, has this been an eye-opening experience for you? It has. It's interesting because we got to talk with a lot of young adults who I feel like that's really the age group that deals with this a lot because things have changed so much, especially with social media. And that was actually part two of my story is just talking to a group of, of college age kids about what they see on social media, especially as far as body shaming goes. What has been the most surprising thing that you've found out from different people you've talked to? Well, if you saw Tuesday night's story, or excuse me, it was, I guess it would have been Monday, Monday night story. It was my expression when I asked them about fake accounts, people making fake accounts simply to harass people online, just to say negative things on their pictures, videos, whatever. And people just going through those lengths, which I mean, we've seen on TV before, but just to hear people say, yeah, I know people who it's happened to, or I know friends who unfortunately make fake accounts to just to troll people online. So that was pretty, pretty sad to hear. And what about response you've been getting online and on Facebook because of the stories you're doing? Because I know yeah. that I have a story coming up tomorrow night that mm -hmm. um, part of that has already been released online, but it's going to be tomorrow night at 10 about, yes. of course, our chief meteorologist, Carrie Duncan. And that's really how all of this started right. because of what happened to her with that really hateful email. But I've gotten some comments already, but what are some of the things you're seeing? Are you seeing a lot of response? Um, Honestly, what I see and what I really want people to know is that body shaming is bigger than weight. And that's what I think that uh, it seems a lot, like you say body, you immediately think of, of, of the weight, but we've heard we've heard from people who say they've been shamed for like simple things like the, the, the way that their height, their, their hair, like the different type hair texture, so many things that you don't realize. It's your overall appearance that people get shamed for. And if you saw my story last night, it, if you, some may have interpreted it as, you know, we were showing off thing, ways to, um, you know, change the way you look, but more than anything, it was just to show that there are people taking these steps. They are getting Botox, they are getting fillers. People are doing things to make themselves feel better. And these are young people. A lot yeah, of times, 40, Pretty, 40s yeah. or anything. And, and ultimately, it's whatever makes you happy and makes you feel better about yourself. And if it is going under the knife, if it is, you know, paying for a certain procedure, whatever makes you happy as but long as you're doing it for yourself just do it for you and don't let outside people influence you just do it for you yeah all right Carrie well it's been really interesting it has been. your reports have been been great and uh, of course you. you can watch my report tomorrow night at 10 with um, meteorologist Carrie Duncan she'll have her reaction to that and coming up next though Dave and I are going to talk to an expert about how to overcome body shaming what can you do to love yourself just the way you are we'll find out Loving the body you're in. It's not always easy, but there are things you can do to overcome body shaming and really like yourself for who you are. Yeah, and here with some tips, licensed counselor, program manager of social services over at Merritt Health, uh, Christopher Rass. Always good to see you, Christopher, and thanks for being with us here on the 4 o'clock show. Are you seeing an uptick on, on this particular subject, especially when you talk to millennials or people even younger than that? Uh, I, th I think people always had a concern with, uh, with body image in general. I mean, it's, it's a societal uh, thing. Uh, I think now that because of so so social media, people are more uh, aware, should we say, and there's more pressure in terms of um, magazines, uh, TV shows, uh, there's more ways to reach out and uh, be positive or negative towards people. So it's something we're seeing more of, definitely. And I think, unfortunately, a lot of people are choosing social media to, to take the negative route to say things they wouldn't say in person to someone, probably. Yeah, it's much easier to hide you know, behind the, the anonymous side of, uh, of the social media, like by creating accounts, like I was mentioned a minute ago. Um, people, uh, it's, it's the keyboard warrior syndrome. People are much braver sitting behind a keyboard than they are in person. Um, people probably have more so a tendency to say things that they wouldn't really say to people face to face. Yeah, but they wouldn't say face right. to face, but right. when you're sitting there in your parents' basement, in your boxer shorts, it's uh, eating Lucky Char a bowl of Lucky Charms. It's uh, easy. What a to, picture uh, you painted! Well, really? that's painted yeah. because anyone who does that is loco. 
<laughs> okay, uh, celebrate yourself is one piece of advice. How do you go about kind of doing that? Well, I think I think a lot of this time, a lot of this body shaming tie is tied into um, ideas of self-esteem, and it's easier to. Uh, pick on someone or criticize their clothing or their uh, their weight obviously um, when uh, um, when the perception is that somebody maybe doesn't have the self-confidence to deal with that it's, it's kind of a bullying syndrome so it's very important that people uh, are aware of their their own self-worth and that they, uh, they if there's any anxiety that's being caused by this that it could be reduced and there are good ways of reducing this anxiety and, and increasing your own self-worth and self-confidence. Yeah, let's look at the graphic that we have. And uh, the, the first thing, meditation, and when you say, that kind of goes along with what you just said, too. Absolutely. I mean, med medita meditation allows you to kind of make the moment for yourself and uh, have a Certainly little... Certainly help you with anxiety. Right, and ha ha have some, some, uh, some self-reflection on, on your own worth and, and whether the criticism from the people has, has any justification whatsoever. And if you decide that it may, then what steps you plan on doing about it, which leads us to health or maintaining a positive mind. You know? What about going and talking? Let's say you're a 19-year-old or something. It's so hard to talk to your parents sometimes. Would you suggest that they, you know, talk to either a counselor or a teacher they may trust at school or someone like you, Christopher, or Absolutely. bring it up with their parents or even talk about it with their friends, even though it can be kind of embarrassing, rather than just yes. keeping it all inside of them? Yes. I think, I think a lot of the problems that people have with uh, idea, you know, issues of, of uh, self-image or, or any other bullying or anything else that's tied into it is that there's that perception that you don't want to appear weak or, or, or defensive by uh, having a conversation with professionals, but it, usually it's the first step. Mm -hmm. uh, if anything, friends or, 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 or uh, a preacher or somebody that you, or a counselor at school, or somebody that you feel that you can trust, even if you feel that the parents may not understand what you're going through, there's always other options to reach out. Um, you know, or, you know, a, a mental health professional obviously being a good solution. Yeah, very important to, to reach out w when you need that help. All right, Christopher, thank you so much for joining us. It's good to have you here on Always the show a pleasure. again.